Hi everyone. We're going to take a look at Woolsburg and take a look at some of the connections that are going on with Washington. Now, we're all leading up to the Super Bowl and the Olympics now. We don't know if that will mean anything will happen during those events, but we're going to check out all the symbolism involving all of these things and how the Nazis are still involved with the American government and the New World Order coming. Woolsburg Castle was known as the headquarters for the SS and that is where they had a lot of the things for the black sun symbol right here. And then we had shown how even the Red Hot Chili Peppers will be playing in the halftime show with Bruno Mars and this with the Bruno Mars song Locked Out of Heaven. And then you have the Red Hot Chili Peppers and they have the black sun symbol on some of their things through here. Now the other thing I wanted to show before we even head over there was about the Duck Dynasty thing. They have used these people as a set of symbolism to show the accuser coming down from heaven. Whatever you want to think about their beliefs are, the, the accuser from heaven is a lot like this man Phil right here, the Duck Dynasty guy who says that gays can't make it to heaven and, and such and such and most people agree with him. We were, whereas if you dig into the Bible more, it says that if Jesus Christ makes you clean, you're clean. It's Jesus Christ saves us, not by your actions and things. But the thing about Phil here and the, like the Super Bowl coming up, well the Super Bowl is on Groundhog's Day. And there's a lot of symbolism in this one movie of that was called Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray right here. Well the Groundhog's name in this movie was named Phil, right here. I'm just showing that we have a lot of these same connections right here with the Groundhog's Day Super Bowl going on. Now, we're going to head over to Woolsburg and show the same things that are right here in Washington. You see us right here, you can see even mapped out right here in Washington, you can see this individual coming down right here with this chalice. This is the accuser being cast out of heaven. And it opens this Pandora's box right here, all mapped out. You can see this easily. Right there. All mapped out. And this is the little horn of the Bible rising up after a large betrayal and a head wound type event. Three horns are plucked out and a new horn rises. Um, you can apply those horns to as you wish. It looks like they are as countries. Mm the USA, the Vatican, and then we don't know the third horn yet. It could be, who knows? Uh, apply what you think about that part and the evidence that goes with it. But this is the little horn rising right here. And he comes with this new type of Eucharist to trick and fool the whole world with this mark of the beast. Well, we're going to go show this right over there in Germany, right in front of all of these things. You can even see Hitler's actual face right here in Washington DC when it's just like this turned completely upside down which has a lot of symbolism of the devil when it's turned all the way upside down and here is Hitler right here just like this he's even giving out that new type of mark of the beast that new that new Eucharist as we keep showing but there he is so let's go check this out over there in Woolsburg, the, the most secret castle that there is on all of the planet by the dark forces. There's Hitler right in Washington. Remember the Nazis goose step right here? Just like we have the duck guys right here with Phil representing the accuser right here. Well. We're going to go show this right over there by Woolsburg, the Nazi SS castle here, which was refurbished by the, the very top secret part of the whole organization under Heinrich Himmler over here. And then we have the Nazi Black Sun, which is right inside this castle. And we have the Red Hot Chili Peppers playing, which have the Black Sun symbol on a lot of the things that they've done. So let's go over here. This right here is Woolsburg Castle. Woolsburg. The 
castle is right here. Well, just as we showed over in Washington, we can show all those things right here. And you can see right here, this man is actually getting the mark of the beast. And he's being turned into a duck. See his duck feet? And he gets this little hat, like a little fin on top of his hat right there. That is him. And that's why you see the duck dynasty in the news all the time. Those guys are not making millions of dollars for any other reason than that they are being used by the Illuminati and Freemasons for everything, for symbolism. The Nazis believed in runic symbolism of the Norse gods. The Aryan race over here. Now we keep showing that rabbit which represents the represents the trickster coming and that new type of Eucharist. Here it is right here. The Nazis. This is all right. It's going on everywhere all around us still. There's the rabbit and there's the ducks doing the goose step. Ready to go for the new world order. And for people that think that you can't be fooled by this, the world is backing up this man who does not even know how to finish scripture. The last part of the scripture that him and most of the hateful preachers leave out is this one, number 11, which says Jesus Christ makes us all clean and that we are all sinners. <laughs> right there. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This symbolism is all around us all day long. The Groundhog Day Super Bowl coming. The movie Groundhog's Day even had the groundhog named Phil. The Nazi goose step with the Duck Dynasty accuser telling all the gays that they're going to go to hell right here and not even telling them how to be saved. He, he, he could have said come to Jesus Christ. No, he just says that they're going to go to hell. And that's why these guys are even in all of the news and they're brought right to the State of the Union address. It's not because they like him. This is the Illuminati and Freemasons. This is the Nazis. They have symbolism for the Aryan race. That's what it's all being used for. Thank you very much everybody. This is real and right in front of us. There it is. Right there. The duck. The goose step. And that's why this is all around us. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. With that rabbit.